I pretty much figured right then and there that this was going to be a complete game changer. The fact that you can post lectures to the web where they stay forever so that students can watch them anytime they want, watch them two and three times if they want, can go backward and forward in the course of a lecture to play over some particular point two or three times until they understand it, pause me if I get going too fast so they can catch up on taking notes. One of the nicest things about this technology is that there's really no such thing as a snow day anymore. If we get snowed out, and certainly last winter we ran into problems like that, I can just say to my students, okay, watch the following videos. I don't use a laptop, I've been using the little desktop camera, but I was just truly impressed with how easy that was to use. It just takes a couple of minutes to set up before each lecture, and then once you're going, you're going, and everything works great and it was very easy to manipulate the camera to, you know, for example, zoom in on particular points from a page or a handout that I wanted students to pay attention to. Uh, you've seen the things that I do as far as chemical demonstrations are concerned. It does a great job with those. There's a lot of good technology out there in the middle and high schools right now, and I really think this is a good thing to have if for no other reason than to keep people used to the idea that they are going to have the technological aspects available to them when they come to college. I would hate to think that coming to college would be a step down technologically from what they had when they were in middle school or high school. And actually it turns out that at least one of my winter session classes has been very motivated and a lot of the kids have already watched the videos and frankly they almost don't want to hear me lecture because they don't want to hear a rerun of things they've already seen. How would you prefer to spend class time? And it's really created an interesting dynamic between, as I just pointed out, you know, the two distinct groups in the one class. Some people want to do things the traditional way. Other people realize the possibilities that this opens up for how we can spend class time in perhaps more productive ways. But if you think it might be for you, try it. It's incredibly easy to use, but the vast majority of what people have had to say about this has been overwhelmingly positive.